English game. We are out here in the back garden and we are going to work on my swing. So what we're trying to improve on today is shallowing the swing. So getting the club to not go so vertical like I'm chopping wood as <laughs> I've been told it looks like when I'm on my downswing. So just trying a couple of drills um, that we saw online. Okay, so this is the video that I watched online by Eric Cogorno Golf. Sorry if I mispronounced your name, mate. Um, basically he's setting up a gate for the golf swing so forcing you to get your club at a shallower angle and to work that club through that gate so if you were to come down at a more vertical choppy choppy angle let's say you would hit the stick so it's getting that feeling of having the club coming close to the ground and following through with that really shallowing out the swing so ideally with this I'll have a shallower swing and no more choppy choppy. So what we'll be using in the video is, of course, a golf club first. I'm going to be hitting it with my eight iron because I feel like that's, you know, an iron that I'm going to be using a lot. We have some sticks for alignment and for one of the jewels particularly, I will show you how we set that up. And then finally, we have the balls. So I looked quite a bit online for um, balls that I could hit safely in the back garden. The closest thing was the plastic ball, but then I thought, might as well just use this stuffing paper that Amazon puts in all of those deliveries that you've been receiving over lockdown and uh, put it into a ball about the size of a golf ball, put it in tape just so I could get a sense of actually hitting something. Okay, so what we're going to do first is get, I guess, what you could call a baseline, see where my swing is at now. So I'll do a couple of swings front on and then a couple of swings from behind. So you can kind of get a good idea of how I'm swinging at the moment. Now that ball, or ball of paper should we call it, actually went surprisingly far. So <laughs> it's gone a lot further than I thought it was going to. I'm gonna have to go and find that in a minute. So let's take a look at the swing. All right, once more in slow motion. So here you'll see I'm coming down really steep on the swing. I just took a giant divot out of the garden. So I might need to find something to be hitting off so I don't make an absolute trench in the ground whilst I'm practicing this. Okay, so here I'm trying to do the drill where you kind of grip down on the club and that's supposed to give you a feeling of getting more shallow but I feel like I'm doing it wrong. Someone please let me know in the comments how I'm doing this wrong or how I should be doing it right. <laughs> But I could definitely feel that the swing is kind of getting better. You know, it's just a bit weird on that, um, that follow through. There we go. That's the updated swing now. Let's give it a view from... Not sure how, but I sliced a piece of paper. Not great. Here's a little slow motion because I know you all love a good slow motion shot of a swing. I feel like it's good but 
the issue is that I'm kind of going a bit scoopy on the way up. Like a boss. Think about this. You're only cheating yourself out of the chance to find out who you really can be. Listen, you got at least three-fourths of your life to go. Stop it. Get some help. McDonald's wants you to give yourself a chance. A chance to find out all the wonderful things you really can be. And so do I. Wow. Thank you, Michael. That was really inspiring. So, guys, let me know in the comments, do you think I should get an online swing coach for part two of this video? And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.